up everybody out there in Learning Land Time from 10 Thumbs Pro coming at you with another lesson and today we are breaking down a full blown solo in blues inspired by Grateful Dead. So this is the first time that we're doing um, blues licks in the style of and if you like this let me know leave a comment below you want to see blues licks in the style of Rolling Stones you want to see blues licks in the style of Gary Moore just let me know and I'll listen and I'll kind of tab about and we can rock through these souls. But this is our first one and we're doing Grateful Dead. Um, it's three licks, well a fourth little bonus look at the end and I'm going to show you how you can make those licks into an entire 12 bar solo. So your next open mic, if you have a friend that can play blues in D, you're really going to be able to impress with this one, alright? And I'm going to do my best to explain why. So you can take these uh, licks to any, so you can take these licks to any key, okay? Alright, if you want you can become a Patreon, you have a PDF with this lesson, you can print out and follow along. Licks in front of you, a little more in-depth explanation as far as the theory goes. Um, but you don't need those things to learn, all you really need is that ukulele brain attention span. If you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. Okay, so in the intro you heard me amped up, but I'm going to be playing it acoustically so you can get a vibe of probably what your ukulele is going to sound a little more like. Um, I ran it through a looper, and that's where you hear the harmony coming from, and a Ibanez Tomb Screamer to give it a little bit of bite, okay? So the harmony is just going to be four bars of D7. I'm going to run through this really quick, even though this isn't a D blues lesson as much as it is kind of a Grateful Dead style lesson. G7, 5, and 6. Back to D7. And here comes the turnaround. 9, 10, 11. There we have our 12 bar blues. Oops. And it goes back to D. Alright? So that's your harmony. If you have a friend, one of you is going to be playing that. Um, and it's going to sound great with these licks. The first lick looks like this. Alright? And what I'm doing is I'm taking my middle finger from the 4th fret of the C string, sliding it to 6, pointer finger, 5th fret of the E, ring finger 7, pointer finger 5th fret of the A. All right, now this is very much Bob Weir style. I was listening a lot to Casey Jones, and his is the first solo, so you can kind of hear him grooving on these ideas. And really what it is, is just, if you take this D major shape bar chord, right, we're just running through it as an arpeggio, adding a dominant seventh to make it, well, not a dominant seventh, I'm sorry. That's the second. So it's like an extended arpeggio harmony, right? If you make a D chord, you see three of our four notes are in this riff. So this outlines a D chord fabulously. It outlines a D chord just fabulously. Alright, now what's cool about this though is you can move it for any chord if you know where this bar shape is. Let's say I'm playing an E blues or an E chord in general, I would do this. C chord you say? Oh, very cool. But we're doing it in D today so it's going to look like this. And it's one and two and, one and two and, okay? And I would just play that over bars, like the first bar. And then in the next bar, you're going to do a response lick, which is actually going to go minor and sound like this. This is lick number two. Now we're in D minor for this lick, or D blues. This first D riff is D major, okay? So it's only going to sound good, that riff, over the D chord. When you get into the D minor scale, that's what's going to sound good over all three chords. So know that this first lick is your D7 specific lick. Then you're going into this one. Alright, and what I'm doing is 5, 8, 5, 5 with a quarter bend, a blues curl. We did a lesson on blues curls. If you want to know a little more about what those are, I'll leave a link in the description below. And this riff sounds like this. And it's the same, one and two and. All right? One and two and. One and two and. And those licks I was playing back to back. That's what's called a call and response. Um, and by doing it two times in a row, we create a motif that looks like this. which is a great blues lesson in its own right, okay? You can take a lick that you know, and another lick, play them back to back, and then repeat that, and you've created repetition, which is very important to your ear. So, lick one, lick two, lick one, lick two. All right, now the next lick is a little more Jerry Garcia style. It's gonna sound like this. Alright, and 
and this lick also has a lot of room for variation, okay? Both of these licks do. All three of these licks do. Um, feel free to add an extra note, take away from a note. The idea is that you get these at a base, kind of see how they work in context of this 12 bar blues, and then experiment with your own ideas, okay? So this lick is going to be, now we're in D minor, the D, well, specifically the D blues scale, because we're going to be playing this flat fifth right here. We're going to go second fret of the C string, first fret, and then third fret. Now, the G is our fourth interval of the scale, and our A is our fifth. That's why we have G7s and A7 chords. In between these two notes, you have a note called the flat fifth, or the devil's note, the devil's fifth, because it's considered to be one of the most dissonant notes there is. But in blues, it's very common to use it as a passing tone. Alright, so let's just do that. Before we even do the lick, let's go. Two, one, three, four, five, four, three, one, two. D, F, G, G sharp, A, G sharp, G, F, D. Okay, now, one thing that Jerry does is he bends. So we're going to go two, one, three. And then we're going to do a bend from three to four to that fifth. We're going to come back down again, and then this time we're going to bend all the way to the A. Okay, so it's boom, boom. And then what I like to do when I'm up here is, again, a bend from this time from the pre-bend 5 down to 3, 1, back to your D root. So that would be... Alright, very tasty lick. Alright, and experiment with that flat fifth in general, but know that you don't have to just do this. There's a lot of um, blues lessons out there going to teach you just to kind of gloss over it. There's a lot of ways to gloss over it. One of them is that double bend action, which is very grateful, Daddy. All right, so let's play that riff to, or that lick together. Now, at the end, you can feel free to kind of repeat those ideas in any way you want. But the core lick is just this. Now, when I play this, I'm doing this over bar one, bar two, bar one, I'm sorry, bar three, bar four, and then bars five and six. Back to seven. and eight, and then when I get to the turnaround, I go back to our lick here. And then, for good measure, I do a little turnaround riff, which is five, three, four, five. And that is something that you could do at the end of any blues, is find your fifth note, slide up to it, and then walk back up to it. So that's a soup bueno. Bueno, bueno, ahora ya cambia el idioma. So that is what we're gonna be a super easy three note little riff that you can add at the end of any blues lick or any blues turnaround, okay? So why don't we go ahead and play through these licks like we're playing through the solo together. Um, I will go ahead and put the backing track on and play through the backing track. So let's get the backing track up, solos ready, PDF tabs in front of your Patreon, and let's shred this thing. solo. So we saw three blues licks in the style of Grateful Dead. Feel free to take them, transpose them so you know them in all your keys so you can jam them in any blues key. Um, elongate them, change them up, mix them up, move the last note to the first note, whatever you want to do to make them your own, and then put them into play, alright? This great blues solo is a great way to get started, but you can Google any backing track blues in D and have a lot of fun with them. Alright everybody, 10 thumbspro.com. Until next time, rock and roll. Keep on loving life. Keep on jamming. Keep on listening to ukulele music. Keep on listening to Grateful Dead. 
keep on playing the blues. And remember, think about becoming a Patreon. You get a PDF with this lesson. You can download. You can really rock it, um, rock it out faster and understand the concepts a little better. All right? New ukulele every Wednesday, Saturday. Hit that subscribe button, clickety-click, and you'll be getting all these cool notifications. And until next time, everybody, Skype Lesson 101, too, if you're interested in developing these sounds a little more, all right? All right, so there it was. Some blues licks in the style of Grateful Dead. Happy to bring them to you, 10thumbspro.com. Subscribe and learn, keep on rocking and rolling, keep on playing ukulele, keep on loving life, keep on jamming, and until next time, until next time, <laughs> take care of yourselves.